Ooh, starting with this one? Sure. Twitch.tv slash Velhart. I heard that guy's a punk. I would never watch him. Here he's a punk too. That's thunder. Thank you so much for the uh, subscription. Two months. Greatly appreciate that community support. He's a punk, dude. You guys, I once invited Velhart to my birthday party and he didn't even show up. I might lose it before I kill a single enemy. Okay, lost that bit. The no walk run? What's a no walk run? like a lot of extra steps that's the thing though it's actually less steps it's the least amount of steps yeah people find their fun however they want to find it i would never be doing that Back in the poison nerd. Oh, it's spell and weapon damage. But that doesn't even apply. I'll take this though. say just flat damage I don't trust it
mean, why does it specify weapon and spell damage if it applies to spin kick too? Why not just say damage? What doesn't it apply to? Talent damage? It might as well just say damage or wording on the death part. Forget the int. I don't think anybody here has questioned you're doing your spin kick run. <laughs> Yeah, that's why I wanted the poison cloud originally for shields and uh yeah, shields. No breathing challenge. why I'm not using spells to open up things. I'm not doing a no spell run. The spin kick has to be my main form of damage. <clears throat> no pants run. Can't. I have to wear pants where I feel weird. See that guy charging up the po the poison's actually screwing me up because it's uh cluttering my screen okay we don't need that do a pass this run make a boss with every boss make boss with every boss in the game then throw a party at the end I would do a pacifist run if they let you. I mean, you can get a weapon, but then you're like no longer a pacifist. I mean, basketball shorts aren't pants. I think it does count.
I'm not wearing pants. I'm wearing jammies. No pants run. No jammies emote? No, they're not that important. Am I playing like a butt, a butt with this run? degrees there yeah no thank you summer weather is coming though i'm not looking forward to it at all careful down there only well attempt it's not going to be a full round Oops. trying to reach chat enemies no attacking while I'm reading chat, please. There's two rules. No attacking someone when they're in the bathroom and no attacking someone when they're reading chat. Uh, casually challenged came up with this. Well, that's the one who wanted to see it done. of winter easy not even a not even a close combat i would take 12 months of winter like people always say that yeah you want you want winter now but when winter's here you're gonna want summer and like nope i always want winter I think a big issue I'm having is I'm like 
expecting to kill things in like a few hits like when I'm using any other weapon and I take like four hits which is a lot so like I'm getting greedy That's guaranteed crits, I think. I'll take that. Uh, I never found the boss room. Not guaranteed crits. Maybe. Oh, armor break was crits. I think of our of vulnerability. The other thing it looks like armor with a symbol on it. Wait, did I lock the castle? No, I must have found that already. Oh wait, no, I already opened it before. It's the same thread. Man, it's been a while since I've died on like a thread that like I forgot even what the interactions are. never do a full run of this no I'm not gonna do I don't like how this game progresses I would never do a full run of anything because it, that's seven runs well it's eight runs and it's just not a, it's not a fun run to get a true ending in this game One of my biggest complaints about the game actually the fact that it takes eight runs of the game to get true ending and the only thing it does is adds a small little cutscene to the end of the game it really should let you do any burdens you wanted and you can just get full true ending on new game plus one no reason to drag it out for uh, seven new games.
I can't see. <laughs> I think they drag it off just solely for inflating the playtime of the game. There's no reason. Oh, it's zero damage. Nice. There's literally no reason to have the game only introduce one prime boss at a time. There's no lore reasons. There's no. There's no reason at all. Just to inflate playtime. Yeah, it's been a kick only run. I actually already died once. Well, I've died three times, but I've already restarted a run because I uh, I died in the, like the first area. Well, like the very beginning of the second area, practically the first area. I count the spin kick run, I just don't. For some reason, just forget how every enemy acts. I just decided I don't know how to play the game anymore. every corner and thing but by like new game plus two you're done so done with that i mean it's a roguelite i don't think you're really meant to explore every single nook and cranny i mean in my opinion this game doesn't even need really the amount of lore it has I think that's a I think the amount of lore in this game is probably a byproduct of games like Hades that had like a ton of voice acting and a ton of lore people seem to be into it but I've been I argue the opposite I think less games need lore games need less lore less games need lore more games need less lore is that not the same thing 
I guess fewer games. I meant fewer games need lore. Sorry. Fewer games need lore. Look, man, I'm a stupid American. You think I know? I always screw up fewer and lesser. Tetris needs more lore. The only game. Everything else needs 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 less. Project is a JRPG that like a lot of people have been enjoying lately. And that game has like probably 5% of the lore that typical JRPGs have. And it's great. And yeah, I did make that number up. Yeah, it does need everything. It even it needs to be a game. Although apparently the game supposedly had a pretty robust instruction manual for explaining how to play it. Yeah, I don't think all games need their lore taken away, but like if you're like an indie dev and you're making a game and you're like, yeah. Our game is good. We just need to make a lore for it. who wants to write the lore and no one wants to write the lore. So you kind of just like throw lore in it because you got to have lore and it's just horrible Garbo lore. Don't need it, man. I should say I wish games didn't feel like they needed to have lore. this game for example I think this game has more text in it than the entirety of Crystal Project Crystal Project is a 100 hour long JRPG this game is a, in my case, a 10 hour, well, nine hour long game with repeatable, like tons of repeatable stuff. course of eight iterations of the same game with an incredibly slightly increase in difficulty every time.
Uh, we're not going to do that because it has the uh, angry for attacking eyeball in it. You have wind wall. Maybe use it. You have comet form too. I think that's my issue. I'm I'm taking the whole spin kick thing too far. Like. Why am I not uh, utilizing all my tools? Okay, there's a there's a character limit. Can't type everything. Promote it to mod for typing nothing in chat. Seating myself, make me. What are you gonna do about it? Yeah, Lily typed nothing in chat, and I was like, "That's the kind of mod I need in my in my chat." anything from Rogue Legacy 1 lore. I barely remember the bosses from Rogue Legacy 1. Remember the giant eyeball. Why do I feel like there was a Mimic Chest boss in Rogue Legacy 1 as well? Yeah, Terraria does have a giant eyeball. It's a it's a fun to fight to a giant eyeball too. I'll be fighting that eyeball soonish, maybe.
Bonk. Bonk. Yeah, twice is enough. I don't like playing most games through two times for like a true ending. I don't know a, thing, a damn thing about Rogue Legacy 2 story because there was too much text when I skipped it all. They could have like... Ooh, no, I can't, I can't activate that. If they had just gotten rid of like... 75% of the text in this game... But I'm only one person. I don't like, I don't usually care for reading in games anyway. So I'm definitely not the focus group of, of their, of their, of their lore. work with vegan yes I believe it does I guess I really don't know do vegans eat bones no it's an animal product Can I use the weapon? It's just a challenge run. Check this out. Check it out. Uh, Shane, thank you so much for the Prime Gaming 24 months. I greatly appreciate that continued support. Thank you, Indu. Alrighty. Down here we go. Money, 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 money. I almost pressed square, my attack button. Invalidating the run. By Mr. Krabs art.
literally my whole life. I mean, I love money, but I don't love it like Mr. Krabs do. Okay, it doesn't hurt these guys. It's fine. It's hard to, to turn off muscle memory for attack enemies. So at what point is it confirmed that no weapon at all is better than Dragon Lancer? Whenever. I already think it's true. like that I'd hate finding of Isaac I forgot what I say I mean I I don't I think finding of Isaac is a mediocre game so, I mean I already don't love finding of Isaac I've only played it through the whole game a handful of times though The thing about Isaac though is it doesn't shove lore down your face. Are there even any readables in the game? The entirety of that game's lore is literally just like small cutscenes at the very end. I would not play Dragon Lancer for no walking. I would play another class like Duelist. And a cutscene when booting the game. Yeah, mostly in the end credits, like. That's different. This game shoves it down your throat. Well, it doesn't shove it down your throat, but if you read any of the books, it's like paragraphs upon paragraphs of lore. And then they bait you with a true ending, which is literally like 10 lines of text. And not even like a cutscene. It's just a extra little thing at the end. True ending in this game is definitely not worth it. Game puts up okay, it does shove it down your throat. There's literally upgrades behind lore in this game. You're right. You don't have to read it, but you still have to like No, you do have to read it. To find out where the uh, scars are.
people ask if I like this game or Isaac better, but I like Isaac a bit better because I don't have to know how to read to play Isaac. They only explain what anything does anyway. So it doesn't matter if you can read to uh read the passives. built for this perfect Dashing there would have took me too far. I have too much speed. Oopsie. I reset the room. It's fine. Oh, I turned my brain off because I didn't want to get that. Instead of doing anything else, I just died. from yet. Well, I got a good amount of time out of this run, so this will be the last time I do it. Well, on this attempt. Yeah, it's not spin kick only. I've ran, I've jumped, I've, uh, I've used Comet form. I mean, if you really want to get technical, spin kick only would take forever. I'm doing a spin kick only challenge or I have to use spin kick as my main source of damage. Half an A press run. There's no A button on my controller.
Vel, comet form. Why are you? Why does spin kick make you not want to use your abilities? I'm like so afraid to not use my guitar that I'm not using my other abilities. Could unbind it. Pretty lazy though. I have to rebind it again when I was done this run. I've only pressed it twice. Once against nobody and once against well once against uh, enemy that can't even be hurt by it and once against an enemy I just reset the room. I'm not getting a lot of money this one. Oh yeah, I don't have any uh I don't have any modifiers this time. I want to do this, but I don't know if I can. stupid platform got stuck and that's why I fell on that lady's head. Not rip run. Uh, plus 100 seems to be the, the end of New Game Plus.
I can't believe you guys were scared of a little one hit death. Only, only a little bit scary. My resolve was getting low. I need to get more of it. Oh yeah, war drum. It's a free, free six percent damage. Which hard mode level burdens are the easiest? Like the individual levels? Easiest is the first one. Hardest is probably like two, four, and six. So it wasn't too bad. You meant like specifically the ones that oops change the change the level around Yeah, the Lancers suck even as enemies. Fair is fair. Oh, McWeave, how's it going, dude?
No, I'm not vegan. I don't have any character traits on right now. It's like a nice little vanilla character. Hello, D Ganon. So far over there. I feel like the game gets easier after a certain point. Like once you get enough runes and stuff to be able in armor to just go through whole rooms or the whole castle without really dying too much or at all. Like the game gets easier and easier. That was avoiding chicken. Have I been avoiding chicken like like the plague? levels to make up for my lack of skill you don't need to be good if you just get a lot of levels up Bong. Man Gunslinger run next. It's going to be pretty interesting. 10 sacks of poison.
No, he didn't. I found, I think I found three weapon shrines and I didn't reroll any relics. I re I rerolled all weapon shrines. So I had nine chances and I still didn't find a spoon. But on the plus side, I did complete a full bard playthrough with it. It also had clown. I used electric loot because I was going to do this run. I didn't want to do two, uh, two normal loots back to back. Yeah, it's been kick only run. Because it was a spoony bard run. I was I was doing a challenge run where I had to play a bard that tried to find a spoon. no spoon it's true the matrix was right it's not a spoon after the rolls does it matter what weapon is in a spin kick run it wasn't a spin kick run it was a bard run yeah you can request a challenge if you gift a sub you need to get you get this up 500 bits uh any any anything
Yeah, but you literally did sweet kicks only though, right? And you start from a new file. And you said you banned relics, so you probably didn't use poison. There's a fully custom air option, class weapon, talent, magic, and up to two traits. Yeah, I wouldn't mind seeing that. Oops, this isn't where I wanted to go. New game plus infinity? Wow, that's amazing. Why did I get hit there? Cause I'm bad. Sorry. I died. I was like, no. <laughs> I didn't realize he was that close to that already. Oh, yeah, damage boosting. That's what I was doing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The Hyperions I left in the starting area. Where? 
below. There's nothing in the starting area. What Hyperions? I think that was last run, the one that died. No, I haven't got a upgrade yet. Wow, I wasn't expecting that guy to die. A door in one hit. Would a Bardbarian be? Barbarian with electric loot? It'd be hard to uh, roll that. It'd have to be a Contrarian. Or finding something along the way. People getting pretty uh, hyped about him when he was in uh, Borderlands 2. Is he not about explosions and tiny Tinas? gamers to defeat their creations a lot of people including reap one of the devs thought i read prime would be either the hardest or just impossible have they seen have they seen two ball I don't know who Reed is, though. Two Ball Prime is the worst boss in the game. Like, it's ridiculous. In any playthrough, he is, he is usually the hardest boss by a long shot. And the one I usually plan my run around. If I can beat two ball, I can beat everybody.
We're getting plus eight all burdens. Uh, I read was pretty bad, but two ball was definitely the worst. Okay, it's, not, it's not even close. The thing is, is that uh, Kane and Jonah are at least way better fights. They feel better to fight. It feels good to learn their mechanics and how to deal with them. Two ball may be the hardest, but he's also the worst designed blood boss at the same time. Boss is literally a giant RNG ad magnet. All he does is summon like, if he doesn't summon any ads, he's a joke. Because his only mechanic is he summons ads and he does other attacks at the same time. So you can't concentrate on what he's doing and three ads are doing. And there's also more further RNG depending on which ads he summons. If he summons like axes, you're fine. Axes barely do anything. If he summons hammers, you know, kind of rough. Lots of projectiles coming out. But if you have a way to deal with projectiles, you're, probably, you're maybe okay. If he summons daggers, you know, fuck you. Daggers are small, they are fast, they'll come at you from across the screen and do damage to you. They shoot out little red projectiles that you can't see because the whole background is red anyway. And if he summons shields, also fuck you. Shields have no, no knockback, they zoom across the screen really fast, and they leave a trail behind them, but it all hurts you. Like two ball is a, it's a bad fight. Also, these clouds need like they, they can't be in the foreground like this you got to be able to see them like the, the uh, attack from enemies player no you over leveled player
Use a spell, it counts. It's not a no spell run, it's a spin kick only run. It's not a, yeah. Spin kick just have to be my main primary weapon. At least that's how I interpreted it. Spell did do damage and hit the boss, but I wasn't trying to hit. I mean, I didn't care if hit him rather. I'm gonna die to this because I keep getting greedy. early I shouldn't have got that greedy though. It really put a lot of pressure on when I could have just had like a nice calm fight. Normal eye rat? Normal eye rat definitely doesn't have any impossible patterns. Nothing's balanced for spin kicks only.
I mean, he's the most, you don't have to even mention the challenge. Two balls, the most unfair boss in the game. I mean, the thing is, just because it works well doesn't mean it's balanced around it. I don't think the devs went around going, oh yeah, spin kick only run. This is, this is good for that. I mean, being balanced around something means they intentionally went around and balanced for it. I mean, I took this poison specifically for two balls ads. And uh, everything that shoots eyeballs, like uh, homing projectiles out. but well-rounded the disparity between the best classes and the worst classes is ginormous i say this game isn't balanced around spin kicking because it's not even balanced around base weapons on characters how would they balance around a lightly damaging movement ability when they don't even balance the, the main characters themselves Yeah, I don't think they meant for total balance either. And I mean, I guess that's fine. Like, I'm not... I'm not really criticizing them for that. I mean, it's your game. Do however you, do what you want to do with it. I'm just making a point that there's no way they balance around spin kicking when they haven't even balanced the, character, the classes in the game. Hello, Yersons. How you doing today? Nerf all the strong stuff? Nah, buff all the weak stuff. Oh, I got the other one. Well, that's the boss, so... I don't think how I'm playing is necessarily against the rules. Maybe I misinterpreted. I thought it was just you spin kick as your primary source of damage. Or your primary weapon rather. If 
casually challenge yells at me. I'll think about what I've done. Why did I write you down as this one? Well, who paid for this run? For some reason I wrote down that you, that you did it. all the dream i'm just making up runs now i wouldn't be doing it for free i got i got paid runs to do Guys, we challenge. Thank you so much for the gift sub to the community. And welcome to IC Wobbles. Thank you so much, man. What kind of run would you want to see? A true spin kick run. No using spells or anything. Hard variant. Barbarian. I don't know how to do that though. A spin kick run from the start. It's a true ending. I won't do that because it detracts from my my current goal of getting to new game plus one hundred. It's going to be whatever shows up first. Barbarian with a loot or a bard with an axe or a hammer. In the contrarian list. It would take too long to get like one or the other guaranteed. So many uh, combinations. weapon properly am i not maybe you're not playing the weapon properly Perfectionist Ronin. I couldn't even one shot my Ronin run I did earlier yesterday.
No, spin kick doesn't knock shield away. Ronin, I think, would be just fine if it just had normal health. I have no, I don't understand why it has less health. People say because it has range, but it's like barely. Mario run Marioing it up me spamming No dash or vault runes run? Man, I've only got like one of each. Take away all my speed. People are going to start paying for runs that are so hard that like they go on for like three minutes. And I'm like, all right. Oh, that was worth. Oh, that was worth five dollars. Yeah, I got extra resolve. I don't think this works with it, but. Yeah, it doesn't work with it. I wasn't going to use that resolve anyway. It does work with war drum. You're right.
Okay, I'm looking for it to be up and over or down and around. I'm gonna tell you why. Because this game isn't balanced around spin kicking. Got him, dude. <laughs> this one's cheaper. out of uh, rerolls trying to get anklets oh it was like a, oh what could be could still be down i think i got like three anklets on my bard run that wasn't that wasn't limiting himself to spin kicks I think it's going to be up and over. I can pay attention to a lot of projectiles if those projectiles all come from like one source. But when you get something like two ball where like you have projectiles coming from like four sources and then from like off screen sometimes too. the things go away and come back I do get hit a lot Look, I just got hit there that's one time since I said I get hit a lot Well, I'm about to get killed on two ball, so pay attention. There's one. There's two.
four. Do you have so many relics? Go around and pick them up from the castle. I haven't died yet. Yeah, lots of resolve helps. Five. To resolve lots of castle layout. Look at here, I just lost three of them. Nama doesn't have ads. It makes Nama easier. Oh, I never got a third lily? I thought I did. Are you sure I didn't get a third lily? Sure. Where did I leave one at? PP psychic power. Oh, I can't skill crit. Yeah, for the jump.
I always forget. I'm trying to get my shield back before I do this. Shield it up. Unfortunately, uh, Jonah is an absolute monster of a boss fight when you can't damage him fast. He always kicks my ass when I have to. It takes, it takes me so long to kill him. So yeah, I might actually die here. I'm, at, I'm more scared of Jonah in this build than I am Kane. Get quiet, shell. You son of a bitch. Don't get marble masterpiece. You son of a bitch. I think what I don't want between lesion and uh I know it's not what I don't want him to get oh and voltaic crown don't get voltaic crown circle it oh vanguard's legion yeah it's fine
Oh, I'm getting greedy. One greedy and one dumb so far. I would get hit way more than I ever uh, would actually do that successfully. Was that a fight earlier? They had to make this fight harder. Yeah, Poison Cloud would be the hardest thing. He dashes a lot. Hyperion's ring. Should you prioritize with the castle upgrades? I don't think I'm a good a good thing for that because I just did uh, health and damage, health or vitality and strength. Uh, don't do dex. Dex is pretty pointless until much later. Uh, don't do focus. Focus is also not really important until much later. Uh, Int is only spell and talent damage, so honestly, unless you really like mages, I wouldn't do that either. idiotic hitbox when he jumps.
Icarus wings? Oh man, he's just flying around everywhere. That would be hilarious. There we go. Spin kick run complete. Feel free to debate whether it was cheesy or not because I used a poison cloud. There's nothing left for me. I still haven't beaten the game with a uh, Dragon Lancer, Normal Boxer, Ronin. Well, not beat the game, but like a uh, full clear. And neither Barbarian. 